All right, gang, we've been talking Resurgence for a while now. Obviously, uh, Warzone Ranked, Rebirth Island, uh, and different metas, different guns to use. Uh, obviously, we got the SOA Subverter right now, the SVA 545, DG58, uh, all long range. And then we have the Striker 9 close range, still really good. We got the Renetti, still pretty good. Uh, but then we got this thing right here, man. This is this is the oddball. This is the DG58 LSW. And this is a close range variant. Uh, this has a Zen compensated flash hider on it. It's got the uh, high grain ammunition, 40 round mag, the Jack Nightshade rifle kit with the recoil reduction butt plate. This thing is an absolute game changer. Up close, uh, recoil. Kind of crazy. Keep in mind, this can be up close. This is what we're working with. We got a vertical recoil, very minimal horizontal. Most bullets are touching. Uh, compared to the long range build, definitely a lot more than what we're used to. But compared to the HRM, this is nothing. Just shoot so fast you can kind of lose track of it go ahead and throw some plates on let's get some ideas of everything here uh mobility on this thing seems really good it seems super comfortable a uh, ttk with the length route we'll just shoot for the chest ten shots to kill and we dump out 10 shots so fast i think this is going to be like a groundbreaking up close metal for rebirth i mean we don't have any sort of grip on it and it still feels really good i could probably do without the iron sights I could probably go through and modify this build let's see because i am not one to usually go for that let's take off the recoil buttstock i'd rather have like iron sights to maneuver through like the uh night r than the buttstock and we'll get a recoil property of this build as well uh, let's go ahead and let it rip. It really didn't make that much of a difference. I mean, the horizontal was a little bit tighter, but in terms of like vertical recoil, that's like the same spot. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It's still extremely manageable. It, it seems to be worth it to run it with the NIDAR rather than the recoil butt plate. I would definitely keep on the high grain ammunition though. Um, I want to see if we can change it just a little bit more. I feel like it needs something else. I like the 40 round mags. Um, we could keep it at 30, but we can't put an under barrel on it. Maybe there's a rear grip we could do or a comb. None of this is aim on site sprint to fire rear. I mean, I guess it's good where it's at. It, the recoil, I guess, is something you'd get used to um, with this build. But I'm kind of digging the build with the NIDAR rather than the Iron Sight. Like, actually, this thing's kind of crazy good rotational aim assist in the mix, and this thing absolutely fries. Uh, these are three plate targets, by the way, but it's killing as if it wasn't. I mean, this thing's killing super fast. Long range, this is not going to be an option. Obviously, if you have the long range build, you can use it, but that's still actually kind of crazy low key for just like this gun in general. Yeah, but that controlling that out that deep, that's it's gonna be a little tricky. But it's not impossible, bro. I, I wonder how many meters that is. What, so 10, 20, 30, 40? Is that 50 meters? I back all the way up, go to the corner. It's like maximum firing distance right here. See if we can reload before we can get that target out. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm down for it. This right here is the new up close meta on Resurgence on Rebirth. I don't know how it would be in Almaz or uh, Earth 16, whatever the hell the big map's called. Uh, but I would definitely be rocking this in Resurgence. Region. Rebirth Island, Rondell, any of that. This is absolutely nuts. Hipfire's not insane on it. It's not that great, um, like at all. We can't pull a kill with a whole with a whole mag. Maybe if we lay down, we could probably pull one out. Not happening. But ADS laying down, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, this is it, game look. Try it out, let me know what you think. It looks like the DG58 is kind of like the Boss B when the game first came out. It was long range and close range meta uh, simultaneously. And it looks like that's where we are at yet again.
Gang, if you're new to the channel, enjoy the content. Hit that sub button. Crush that like button. I'll catch y'all tomorrow for another heater. Let's get it.